Another option for the side control, particularly like if I'm getting passed or whatnot, let's say he was half guard or whatnot, I'm defending and I know he's passing. I always try to keep a framing arm under the neck that could come under the shoulder. Cause let's say he scores his pass. Okay. Now I'm behind both his arms. So even in MMA here, well, despite the knees, his arms are no threat to me right now. He can't punch, he can't choke, he can't submit because I'm behind both his arms here. And this position also gives you some interesting scrambles. For example, I could come in here and start working this side. So I like calling this position reverse seatbelt. Essentially, rather than this side seatbelt, I'm over here, okay? And we have some interesting scrambles there. So the way we could start this, all right, for example, just start from side control. I could do the same thing where I frame out, but I come under behind both arms, right? So once I do this, you have a few options, all right? For right now, we'll work this, where I'm gonna sit up and come behind him here. Posting on this arm, I'm tight around the hips. Now, if he's totally off guard like he is right now, boom, I could just pop up, get the back, okay? Normally, he's gonna be trying to hook something on me, like with arm or whatever the case is, right? So the other option that I like to work, which we'll do now, is this leg hook. Let's say, uh, get on your knees here and st boom, stay tight. All I'm gonna do is scoot out a little bit, throw one hook in, boom, and now I can come over here, all right? So I'm framing, I can't get around him here. Boom, back here, hip scoot, get this leg right in the middle, boom. Now I can start working towards the back. All right, and you guys are familiar with the truck or whatnot, it's essentially the same position here. So again, my entry, it could be from anywhere. Maybe I was having a hard time getting this underhook, he's shutting it down. All right, I just look for this side. Same side here, push, boom, come up. The one thing I wanna try to do is get high. If I'm low like this, he could just yeah, smush me here, all right? So I don't wanna be on the elbow. I wanna get up wide, okay? This now makes it harder for him to work, okay? And this hand is deep, so it's not a shallow grip, I'm deep in. Okay, and again, to sneak the back here, I'm just scooting my hips out, and then I'm sitting to my right hip. Boom. And for me, if I can look to hook this leg, get my figure four, it's a done deal here. Okay, so now I can just switch to seatbelt grip. Boom. And I have him trapped pretty well. I could always throw in the hook, but for me as a big guy with short legs, this ride is a lot harder for him to work out of. All right. Any questions? All right, we'll start with that back take from that reverse seatbelt. On three, ready? One, two, three, Oop. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you wanna get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.